Today we will solve a numerical on circular convolution. Uh, let us see. This is the same numerical we have solved before. Uh, find circular convolution using DFT and IDFT method. So this method is different. Okay. So this method is also called as frequency domain method. Because we are going to uh, from time domain to frequency domain and using the circular convolution property that property says that circular convolution in time domain for these two sequences x1 of n and x2 of n it has a dft x1 of k multiplied by x2 of k okay so using this property we will convert this convolution circular convolution in time domain that will be the multiplication of dfts of these sequences x1 of n has dft x2 x1 of k x2 of n has dft x2 of k so we will find first the dfts of these two sequences and then find inverse DFT to get the circular convolution in time domain. Okay, so we will use matrix method to find the DFT of x1 of n and x2 of n. First, we will take four samples to match the length. We will make x1 of n as 1, 2, 2, 0 by this 0 padding. Okay. DFT of this x1 of k in matrix form will write the formula. We have 4 points so D4 matrix multiplied by x. Okay. So x1 is equal to, write this matrix 1, 1, 1, 1. 1 minus j minus 1 j 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 this is 1 j minus 1 minus j so this is a four point matrix d4 we have seen how to build this matrix in previous lectures now this is x1 we'll take this 1, 2, 2, 0. First row multiplied by this. Okay, so last sample is 0. So we will concentrate on this. 1 plus 2 plus 2. Second row multiplied by this column. 1 minus 2j minus 2. This row, third row. 1 minus 2 plus 2 then this 1 plus 2j minus 2 we simplify this this is equal to 5 1 minus 2j minus 2 so this is minus 1 minus 2j this is 1, this is 1 minus 2, that is equal to minus 1 plus 2j. So you can observe here, this is conjugate of this sample. 1 minus 2j, 1 plus 2j. Okay. Now, we will find x2 in the similar manner. Okay. So we will write x1 here. So we have our x1, we we'll write all the samples, 5 minus 1 minus 2j, comma 1, comma minus 1 plus 2j. I will go for x2, x2, we will need sequence x2 here. So we will write those samples. 
two samples are different. Three, four. This is this will be one plus two plus three plus four. Second row multiplied by this column. One minus two j minus three plus four j. Now this row multiplied by this column. One minus two plus three minus four. Now this row fourth row. One plus two j minus three minus four j. I will simplify this. One plus two plus three plus four. So this will be equal to ten. One minus three minus two. Four j minus two j plus. 2j. Now this 1 plus 3, 4, 4 minus 4, and this minus 2 will remain here. Now this one will be 1 minus 3 minus 2, 2j minus 4j minus 2j. So again we can see this samples. So these two samples are conjugate of each other. To check as a check. Okay. We will write the samples here. 10. Minus two plus two j minus two minus two minus two j. Okay. So, uh, so write like this. Minus one of k, x two of k. Okay. Now we will use this property. Multiply this two. Okay. We'll name this as x three of k. Okay, x three of k is equal to x one of k into x two of k. But this will be pointwise multiplication of these two sequences. So this will be multiplication of first point with this first point. Okay. So this will be equal to five into ten. First sample will be fifty. Next is we'll do separately multiplication. Minus one minus two j multiplied by minus two plus two j. Okay. So multiply this with this two minus two j plus four j. Minus four j square. Four j square. This j square is equal to minus one. So we can replace this minus two j plus four j minus minus plus four like this. So this is equal to six six my plus two j here. Okay. Six plus two j. So the second sample is six plus two j. Next is one multiplied by minus two. This is equal to minus two. And last sample will be conjugate of this. Okay. So we'll directly write six minus two j. Okay. So I obtained x three of k. Now we have to take i d f t of this to get. Circular convolution. Okay, x three of n. Okay, get i d f t of x three of k to get x three of n. Okay, so i d f t for i d f t we have formula x three is equal to one upon capital N. If we have four samples here, so capital N N is having value four. D conjugate into X. 
okay so we'll write this matrix okay x3 is equal to 1 by 4 we we'll write here 1 1 1 1 1 j minus 1 minus j 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 minus j minus 1 and j here and we obtain this 50 6 plus 2j minus 2 6 minus 2j okay so after calculating this i'm not calculating this i'm just writing the answer you check it the answer is 50 and 12, 9 and 14. We have obtained this answer in the previous example. So, we just check it after this calculation if this answer comes. Okay. So, this is frequency domain method.